Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photography and Photoshop Actions. And I'm going to show you another little part of the Polish and Protect freebie. This time we're going to look at the storyboard. This is the three up storyboard. I have two others that are included in the Polish and Protect Facebook freebie. And uh, this one in particular has three images, one large and two small. And just going to do this in elements for you today. I have the Photoshop template open. Uh, to open that file up, you just go to File, Open, just as you would an image, and open the, the template document up. I also have three images I'm going to be using to place into it today, and those are down, you can see them down here in my project bin because they're already open. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab my photo that I want to use on the right hand side in the large image area. I'm going to drag that one up here and I'm just going to drag that into kind of into position where I'm going to want it and if you go over to your layers palette you'll see uh, all the different layers here and I'm going to drag it where it says right photo under here. Just drag my image so its layer is underneath where it tells me to right layer right photo under here and it just snaps right into place where it should be. I mean, you can move it around as you want to. Um, that's good right there. Leave that. I'm going to grab one other photo to put on the bottom here. And that is uh, way too big. So I'm going to hit Command T or Control T on a PC. And you want to make sure that if, if you don't have this up in your option bar checked with constrained proportions, that you are holding your shift key down as you resize so you constrain your proportions and don't end up stretching your image. I have that checked so I can just go ahead and drag that. If I did not have that checked, I will show you what happens. You resize your image and you end up something that is with something that is stretched and um, out of proportion and we don't want that happening so I'm going to hit cancel that resize I have constrained proportions checked I am going to or hold down your shift key and resize at the same time and it will constrain your proportions for you right about there looks good to me and you see it's not snapping into place yet because it's not uh, in place with the clipping layer I'm going to Go over here and it is going to go right under bottom left photo under here. It'll snap right into the clipping mask there. Very easy to do. And the third image, I'm going to place that right here. And I'm, I'm going to see what it looks like a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to resize it just a tad bit so it's a little bit smaller. About there. And then I'm going to drag that one under top left photo under here. Pretty easy. And that is how easy it is. We're done. We just drag our pictures right in there and place them where they should be in the layers palette and it tells you exactly where to put them. Right photo under here, you place your image that you want in the right hand slot right there so it's on top of the gray box and underneath this layer that says right photo under here and do that with each layer and that's how easy my storyboard templates are. So then after we finish our uh, image placement on the storyboard or collage we can run some of the actions that are included in the freebie set for Facebook. The storyboards in that are included happen to be 900 pixels wide so you can use those for blog use if you wish and if you want to use them for Facebook just run one of the resizing actions on it first. We can do that and uh, I'll do the Facebook resize horizontal here. Run that and we are now ready to do whatever else we want to make it uh, uh, watermarked. Put a logo bar on the bottom, uh, put some extra watermarking on it with the do not copy text across it, or uh, and or round the corners on that as well, or place our logo on there, or all of those. You can just do whatever you want with the set. I'm On this one here, I am going to uh, place the 
logo bar mocha color. We'll do that here. And there we have our nice branding bar at the bottom uh, to put our logo, to put our copyright information, whatever you want to do down there. Uh, I am just going to type out a very simple uh, paint the moon. If I can spell it correctly. Oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> paint the moon photography. Is that right there? I am going to lower the opacity on that so it looks subtle and doesn't scream at you when you view it. And uh, then I'm going to do the rounded corners action on that. I designed them um, in black and white. I'm going to run the black. The black is especially great for Facebook with the theater view now that has the black background. Uh, if you do a regular rounded corners on white, you're going to have a little bit of a white uh, corner on your images, which kind of just doesn't doesn't look good at all. So the Facebook rounded on black will look exactly like this. And one little tip when you're running actions and elements, uh, if you're newer to actions and elements, you always want to hit continue on these matrices. Uh, never hit stop or it will undo everything in the action up to that point and you'll have to basically just start over with that action. So I hit continue and that is exactly what it's going to look like in the Facebook theater view with the rounded corners on the black. It looks really nice and polished uh, which is a whole idea behind Polish and Protect. Uh, the actions that are included in a sampler are all optimized for Facebook they will help make your images look the absolute best that they can uh, with Facebook system and are all sized perfectly for a Facebook system. And uh, the storyboards that are included in the freebie are all 900 pixels wide so you can use those on uh, blogs as well. And uh, if you want to use them on Facebook you'll want to run the resizing actions uh, before you post on Facebook for the, for the optimal uh, image quality. And uh, you can pick this free sample set of actions for Photoshop Elements and Photoshop and storyboards included all at our Facebook page. And you will find that underneath our profile image free down, exclusive, free. Just click on that and click on uh, unlock download and you will be taken to a download now button and grab those free set of actions for elements and uh, Photoshop and the storyboards are included. And if you uh, enjoy our actions, I would uh, very much appreciate it if you could share with your photographer friends and uh, check out our website at paintthemoon.net and I really hope that you enjoy the free set of actions and storyboards. Thank you very much for listening to me and check out our other tutorial videos if you care to at our YouTube channel at Paint the Moon Designs on YouTube. Thank you very much. Have a great day.